Good morning, folks. I'm Dave Close, Barbecue Pits by Close in Houston, Texas. I want to thank y'all for watching our brief video this morning on the equipment we build. Today, we're making anything from fancy pits, uniques, to backyard, pull behind the car, towables, then horizontal and upright stationary commercials for indoor, outdoor, and restaurants. Some of these things, uh, they come and go all the time because we have two factories. We'll be doing another video in the future about the backyard pits, but today specifically, I wanted to touch base. There's a severe shortage of restaurant pits. Most of these guys are running a year out, whereas we have them in stock. So I wanted to walk y'all through We have everything from through wall that goes through the restaurant wall and the fireboxes outside to indoor outdoor stationaries. Now this one's called Shimmering Rose. I didn't really like it before I bought the paint. It's a 1200 degree heat paint. But once I got it painted, I, I started liking it. It's really pretty. We have uh, through walls with the controls out back so that the cooks can reach the uh, handles and air controls from the ground. They have a second, a third thermometer in the back. So by the time you'd walked out of the restaurant and gone to the pit, we found out that you didn't remember what the pit was cooking at. So we put enclosed thermometers that are tuned to the front thermometers so you can see what the pit's at while you're feeding outside the restaurant. Some of the towables can have sinks, refrigeration, infrared grills, full comp sat down links, staggered face array, cycle redundancy, solar powered, you know, fancy mags. We can match any color vehicle in the world as well as the mags that they have. Here's a low footprint pit that I just invented. This one takes up three feet of space. It has the firebox inside but the walls are half inch, the doors are half inch plate. The walls are double insulated and the firebox inside is triple insulated. I put 12 special thermometers in here. When I lit it with a small fire, the thermometers ran to 250 in eight minutes, but they were way off. They were a half a degree, all 12 of them. And I, I couldn't believe it. No one has ever built a pit I mean, this pit weighs over 5,000 pounds, and no one's ever built a pit this heavy that I've ever seen in the world. And I've been to 20, what, 28 countries? This is probably, if you ever wondered what perfection in the industry looked like, it's this. And it comes in 22 sizes. Now specifically today, this is a three by six foot that I'm tuning, running thermal regulation inside to make sure that it operates. You know, if I say it works good, it works good because we test them. We'll light them for three, four days to get the thermal shields and heat shields set. This has a, right now we're cooking about 270 left and right. We have quarter inch stainless handles because you have a food tray, you can open the door like that. Inside, on this one, we have 10 row of pull out shelving. And as you can see, all the thermometers are dead on. I got it. A lot of junior competitors will talk that they can build a pit that cooks even. Well, the proof's in the pudding. Show me this, because this is undeniable. These cook even, and I bet my reputation on it, and I've been doing this for 40 years. You have a dozen sausage rods. You can pull all the shelves out, and it'll allow you to hang whole animals, sides of beef, whole hogs. You can hang dozens of turkeys at a time short hoop, long hoop sausage. 
It has thermal shielding, condensation drip shielding. Under that, it has half inch steel plate thermal shielding for radiance and even temperatures out, things like that. It has a heavy ash pan under each door that really doesn't serve much purpose except to give it another heat sink to keep hot air below it to give it a thermal climb. That helps it cook. It has auto drains to the outside with stainless and brass ball valve drains where you can just drain it to a little pan, a pail, or some throwaway aluminum meatloaf pan to throw away every evening in case you're doing heavy basting or whole animals. The hogs put out a lot of fat. We have dual stacks. The hi-hats come off in case you want to run your uh, stacks up through the ceiling or go outside the restaurant and all the fittings all the fittings on them are pure stainless so that they remain true. Stainless handles also. These things are tight. They don't leak. I just sold this one a while ago and they just, the guy said, well, yeah, but does it leak any smoke? And we lit it and it was boiling smoke when we first lit it. You know, we used a rosebud and there wasn't a drop coming out from around the doors. And I said, no, these things don't leak. You know, they don't leak inside of restaurants. And it, a tannin off the wood's going to seal it even tighter as you go along. So these things cook amazing. I've never seen a pit cook as good as these do. Not in the 40 years I've been doing it. You have a double wall insulated firebox that's insulated three by three by three by six inches thick. It has half inch plate doors with strengtheners to keep them true. You, we split the fire racks so that it allows you to be able to pick them up so you could dust bust it or whatever. Now this is a large fire that I built a while ago because I wanted to bring it up to 275. Normally about half that fuel is what you would use. It has lockable well tabs on it. In case it's outside, you can actually lock the doors so people can't get in or mess with your meat or your fire. But having these things in stock is very unusual due to this COVID, but we never cut back. We work straight through, and we have found that if you need one, we got them in stock, give us a call. You can reach us at 1-800-487-7487, uh, and you can look at a lot of the different models on www.bbqpits.com. Folks, give us a holler, and I'll give you the benefit of 40 years of knowledge in catering and cooking in this. I'm not just the president. I'm also a client. I catered 30 years on these pits, so I look forward to talking to you about barbecue in the great outdoors. Thank you.